Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Jared B. Welcome to the Highs of Heretics, the premier. <laughs> Boo. Hi, everybody. My name is Jared B. Welcome to the High Desert Heretics. Uh, we are here playing a Tabletop Heroes LLC in 29 Palms, California. Why? Because it's too hot to play outside. I'm here with Aaron, who's playing uh, Farsight Tau using the Psychic Awakening Greater Good. I'm here with Tyler, who's playing Goth Orcs using the Psychic Awakening Saga of the Beast. Indeed. <laughs> uh, we're playing an 1850 Battle Report today, and we'll get right into the armor list. All right, Aaron, what do you bring in your 1850 tile list? So, with this, I've got 1850 points on the nose. I'm bringing three detachments, two battalions, and a vanguard. For the first detachment, I have Commander Farsight. He will be my warlord today. Just gotta play fluffy. Ooh, and then I have an XV-8 in a crisis battle suit. He has a shield generator, advanced targeting system, and two cyclic ion blasters. And then for the third HQ, I have a standard Cadre Fireblade. For my three troop choices, uh, I took three five-man squads of Firewares. Each Shazui or squad leader has a marker light. And then in the elite slot, I have a squad of six Crisis Battle Seed. I have upgraded them to uh, veteran Cadre, so they will have a three plus ballista skill, four plus weapon skill, three attacks apiece at a minus one AP in close combat. And for the uh, for one of these bo uh, bodyguards, I gave this guy an air frag as well as a shield gen and upgraded him to Iridian Crisis Suit Armor. Significance of this is I gave him a uh, prototype system that is called Reactive Countermeasures. What this allows me to do as, is whenever this model here takes an armor save, I treat minus one and minus two AP as being AP zero. Yeah, take a point. With a two plus armor save, so that will be fun. And then in the fast attack slot, I have three units of four shield drones supporting these units throughout how I deem fit. I know Tyler here loves them. Everybody loves shield drones. Eight of my existed shield drones, I swear. It's, uh, it's all they got. Let, let them have it. <laughs> It'll buff. It'll buff. <laughs> all right. Second battalion, I have two XV-86 Cold Star battle suits, uh, each equipped the same way with a shield generator and three fusion blasters. Fusion blasters being converted. However, uh, the more dynamic Cold Star here, I have given him the uh, fusion blades relic. Paid a, paid a CP for an Ooh. extra fusion blade or for an extra relic. Anyway, we can get some close combat going between Tau and Orcs. Did you ever think you would hear it? Then, of course, I've got three more units of Fire Warriors kitted out, manned the same exact way as the original battalion. And to wrap this up, I have Vanguard Detachment. With that, I have my second commander over here, or second XV-8 commander over here, with two missile pods, ATS for that additional minus one AP, and a shield generator. And another cadre fire blade over here, converted from the ethereal from the start collecting kit. And then in the elite slots, I have two ghost kills, each outfitted with two flamers, a cyclic ion raker, a shield generator for a four plus invol save, and then velocity trackers so they get plus one to hit anything with the fly keyword. Then I've got two units of four stealth suits, both outfitted the same way, uh, two two Shaz Wee stealth suits and a Shaz Frey with burst cannons and ATS for an additional minus one AP and then one fusion blaster stealth suit per unit with a velocity tracker to also get that plus one to sh shoot flyers and that is my list what do you think I'm excited to get some crumping in with uh, the little guys it's gonna be fun. Uh, you do have a lot of little guys. Yeah, so well, if you run away all the time. Very and surprisingly lack of uh, riptides. Yeah, I mean, riptides just aren't that interactive. They sit in the back with shield drones and just shoot at things. So, especially with orcs, orcs being as dynamic as they are, everyone loves to see people get up close and, well, beat the crap out of each other. So that's what we're gonna do here. Tyler, what kind of ragtag orc group are you bringing? We brought a uh, very fluff-heavy goth wog today. Fluff-heavy? Um, where's Gaskell? 
Uh, Gasgill is not coming today. We wanted to do some experiments with these uh, flyers I'll talk about here in a minute. Oh, really? yeah. But we are going to be touching on uh, a lot of the new stuff from Psychic Awakening, uh, really buffing up uh, a really crumpy army. I know Goths aren't the most competitive, but since this is more of a, uh, like we said, a fluff heavy uh, uh, battle, I think we're going to have a good setup for some melee as well as um, some heavy hitters coming at each other. So we have two detachments here. We have a flyer detachment and a uh, battalion detachment. For the HQ choices, uh, we have uh, uh, the war boss. We're going to be rocking uh, hard as nails and the biggest boss taking that from Psychic Awakening. That's going to give him a uh, four up in bone as well as an extra attack. Uh, we're going to be running as his uh, Special little equipment, the Lucky Stick. That's going to help out a lot with uh, rerolling for attack and wounds, as well as giving all of our boys and other goth units a plus one uh, to hit in the fight phase. Does he have that squeak? Huh? Does he have the squeak? Yes. Yeah. He's so got he's, a stick. He's got a stick. He's got a squig. All all the. Oh, he's playing fetch. Yeah. Here we go. Um, <laughs> So we spent a CP here, we're also spending a CP on our converted weird boy. He's going to take Warphead, obviously the go-to's to jump and uh, um, Warpath, giving them a plus one to attack and uh, jumping those boys more than likely uh, up and close and personal to uh, the uh, tower infantry. Wow, Mr. Bond. Wow, wow. Mr. Bond, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, moving on, obviously we have two sets of 30 Choppa boys. Uh, supplemented over here with a set of uh, 10 Grots. They are my linchpin. These are the cornerstone of my army right here. Uh, definitely going to need every, to be feared. Every massively large orc army, yes. Yes. 10 Grots. 10 Grots. That's, <laughs> I've won so many battles off of 10 Grots. Uh, for the elite choice, uh, some of you might recognize the old Gazgo model. He's going to be my Mega Knob boss, uh, leading these uh, Mega Knobs into battle, uh, rocking Power Claws and Shoot Us. Set of five. For the heavy support, we have our Morkonaut here. Again, he'll be taking uh, something from Psychic Awakening. That's going to be a custom job, so spending a CP for that to give him sparkly bits. Morkonauts typically aren't that scary when it comes to range, even though we have that, all that anti-tank. But it's going to give him a plus one to his ballistic skill, hitting on a four up, which is going to be pretty scary. It's crazy for Orc. It's mm. crazy for Orc. That number is never heard of. So it's a shame I brought so much stealth. Oof, yeah. So <laughs> it might negate. We'll see. Or we'll just rip the infantry apart. A uh, couple, you got to bring some death dreads for a fluffy list. They're just beautiful to look at and uh, uh, good at uh, soaking up uh, wounds. Over Sorry. here, we have the flash kits uh, coming in as well. Hopefully to get some mid-range uh, AP action, um, and that will round out the battalion. So back here we have a flyer detachment, two docket jets, one uh, Wazbomb blaster jet for uh, our flyer detachment, who's taking the uh, sub faction of flyboys. What that's going to do, it's going to give them basically a cover save no matter where they are, as well as a minus to hit in close combat for other flying units. So it's going to make them quite durable. The Wazbomb Blast Jet is taking a custom force field. The, uh, the Morkonaut is also taking a custom force field to make them a little tougher in the close quarters. Each of these, I know they only have four on them, are pushing up to take six um, super shooters uh, on them to get the most DACA we possibly can. Out of your, most DACA out of your jets. Yeah, absolutely, especially when you close the infantry. So hopefully, combining these two together, I haven't never run this kind of list before, never run the flyers, literally got them painted up just for today, so we'll see how they play. We appreciate you. I'm excited. With that very beautifully painted list, a uh, lot of creativity here. I'm loving the writing on these flyers and the kill counts. We'll see if they can... Uh, Let's see if they actually earn those kill counts. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see how they actually play out on the field. All right, and we'll be right back with the mission. The mission we're playing is Scorched Earth from Chapter Approved 2019. Uh, the numbers on the objectives don't mean anything, but we got... Um, what was the uh, type of deployment? Vanguard deployment. Vanguard deployment. So Tau chose the type deployment style while the orcs um, deployed first. Lo and behold, there's only one objective in each uh, deployment zone. So for Scorched Earth, how it works, and starting from the second battle run, you gain one victory point for every objective you control. And if you control the objective zone in your opponent's deployment zone, you can gain three victory points by blowing it up. 
but uh, that um, isn't liable for a lot of victory points because somebody wants to be weird and do the most obnoxious deployment zone ever. But it works. Could have been search and destroy. It could have been search and destroy, but it wasn't. <laughs> do you have anything in Deep Strike? Uh, yes, I have a unit Mega Knobs. They're going to be on a teleporter pad. Do you have anything on Deep Strike? I do not. How many command points do both of you guys have? You have like four. Yes. After everything, I think I'm sitting at four right now. Oh, I was, I was being facetious. No, no, literally four. <laughs> <laughs> I started with 13 command points, I spent two on a veteran cadre and one on an extra relic, leaving me with 10. Doesn't bode, bode well for the orcs. So as it turns out, orcs are going to go first. Would you like to go first? Uh, absolutely, I would like to go first. And now, Tao, would you like to attempt to seize? Uh, I would absolutely like. Seizing the initiative. <sighs> that is a failed seize. See, if you were playing against me, you would have got it. All right, so we're gonna go back to Orcs, turn one. We'll come right back after the movement phase. Orc movement is completed. What did you do? Who'd you move? So this uh, first docker chat is moving up over here to these uh, stealth suits on objective four. We have a, a death dread getting real close uh, to these guys sitting in the puddle. And another one coming up behind, moving on objective two. A docker jet leading the, the run in, the waz bomb, hot in his trails, looking toward those ghost kills. More cannot come behind with his custom force field as the boys start advancing up the field with the war boss in tow. Uh, down on objective three, over here we have the Grots have come in, secure that, uh, and the flash gets have advanced uh, in order to try to gain some high ground for uh, round two. Back here, the only movement that came back here was the weird boy moved up just so he could claim objective one and uh, get ready to uh, bring these boys into the fight. Uh, come psychic phase. All right, well, let's go into psychic phase. Uh, Warped, so he's gonna manifest two powers, Warpath and uh, Dead Jump. So first we're gonna go for Warpath. The uh, Weird Boy is gonna get a plus one to his roll for each unit of 10 boys that are close to him. All these 10 are within 10 inches, so he's gonna get that plus three. So to set Warpath off, that's so a four, seven. Seven, so boom, that's gonna go seven. off, giving them a plus one to attack. Next, we're gonna do the jump, which is again a warp, uh, warp charge value of seven. And that is uh, 13. So, perils of the warp. That is, that is certainly a perils. How, many, how much damage does it take? It's gonna be 1d3. So for perils, taking two, two damage. Two whole damage. Was it worth it? We're gonna find out. So we have to jump these boys uh, back from the deployment zone giving them a plus one to attack with Warpath, and they're now uh, within nine, inch or nine inches out from the stealth suits on objective four. Nice. The boys are gonna be firing onto the stealth suits. We have 15 that are in range. Uh, minus one for the stealth suits, Aaron, right? Correct. So hitting on sixes, hoping to get some of that daka daka daka. There's a few sixes. Nice, got four Before that shots. daka daka daka, nothing more. Force the wound. Yes, sir. Um, that is. Two. Two wounds. Two. No minus. No minus. Three at armor save. We're Thank good. You. Daka Jet is going to be firing on that stealth suits on objective four. It's putting all those rounds into it. So it's going to get a plus one, but the stealth suits add a minus one, so it'll be a flat hitting on fives. So these are the Daka. So you got 18 rounds from the super shooter. Super shooters. Two for the Daka Daka Daka. Nope. Strength six, toughness four. Yes, sir. Winning on threes. So we have six wounds. Bear my minus, uh, minus one. One damage piece. So four up to save. And that is one wound. No, uh, two. There's a one in the Oh, you're right. My best. Was, was uh, there two, three? Well, we could just check the video. Okay. Uh, three wounds. Check the footage. So, forgot about the minus one hit piece. So, Two threes and a one, total of three wounds, so one stealth suit dead, one's got one wound. Death Dread here advanced, so he's gonna fire his uh, rocket, assault one, but hitting on sixes. And a one, no. The other Death Dread did not advance, just moved and it'll fire the Mega Blaster and the rocket on those stealth suits. 
My mistake, Mega Blaster and Big Shooter. So Big Shooter going first, hitting on fives, or sixes actually, because stealth suits. Yep. Daka so Daka. I'm gonna sit there, Daka Daka. Uh, three is up. So one wound, no minus. Need a three to save. Oh, one's got one. And then the Mega Blaster. Twos will do more wounds. One, if you roll. Minus one. Yeah. Minus one, so. Twos, mortal wounds, hitting on sixes. Oof. Daka Jet onto Fire Warriors, 18 shots. Hitting on fours. Three Dakas. Nope. Wounding on twos. Minus one. Ooh, not too great. But we have two, four, six, eight wounds at minus one. Needing fives to save. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. Not a bad roll. One, two, three, four. Oh, squad's still dead. That's still the squad. And that is first strike. Wall is blind blast it, firing into ghost kills. I'm assuming they have those drones there to suck up some wounds. Correct, minus one to hit while they're within those drones, within distance of those drones. Another minus one if you are outside of six inches. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. So minus two, I get a plus one. So it's gonna be sixes no matter what. All right, so we'll start with the smash gun. Three shots, or one shot. D3 shots. D3 shots. Close. Yeah. Nice. Optimism. Uh, hitting on sixes. Got Ooh. it. Ooh. Did we get a docker from Daka. that? We do not. Four. So uh, to wound, I just have to beat the toughness. Toughness. Six. Well, that's that, I'm not going to do it. <sighs> yep. I'm not going to do it for the smasher guns. Wasbo mega cannon. Heavy D3. Four. Two shots. Wow. Not doing well. Getting bad Sixes, nothing, nothing from the was bomb. Look at all those kill counters. Not today. So, so Morkanot firing twin big shooters into the stealth drones. Minus one, but ballistic skill is four, so it's gonna be hitting on fives. And then the other guns going on to everything else will be firing onto the ghost kill. Cool. Alright, that's three dockers. One more hit. Wounding on threes. All a wound. That is six. Nope, seven. Seven wounds. Four up with covers, three up. And just enough to kill him. And this ghost kills out of range of these guys, right? That is correct. So he's not going to get the mine, so just be the normal minus one. Yeah, just the normal one. So he's, you're not hitting on, you're hitting on fives and seven sixes. Uh, going down the list, the custom mega blaster. Two, that's a mortal wound on you. Because of the minus one. So. Yes. So this Oof. would be down to 17. Custom Mega Zappa, heavy D3. Four, two, four, six. Three, three? Three, three. three. Yeah. So that'll be that'll hitting work. on fives. Four, oh. nothing. Lead rocket. Hmm. Nothing. Orc shooting is not what it's cut out to be. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that after we see Tau melee. Yes. <laughs> he, seems, he seems so confident in it earlier. All right, any more shooting? They have advanced. These ones advanced as well. And the Grotz advanced. So and Pistols and head weapons do not fire. Uh, the only one that did advance was the war boss. I think he might actually be able to shoot. So war boss. He's gonna fire into the ghost kill, see what he can do. Uh, hitting on sixes again. This is the combi rocket, this is the shooter profile. Combi rocket shooter, minus one because shooting both, minus one again, so it's, hey, good thing six is yep. Six is always hit. Shooter, nothing. Nope. Rocket. Nothing. Thus ends orc shooting phase. It's not, not terrible, I mean, you, you kill the squad. Orc charge phase. This single death dread, He's gonna charge these stealth suits. Overwatch from non-Tau-Sept-Tau. 
Starting with the burst cannons, these are hitting on sixes, re-rolling ones as far sight treats everything as being one marker light higher within 12 inches. As of the uh, Psychic Awakening. As of Psychic Awakening. That's a lot of sixes. A couple re-rolls in there. Ooh, another six. Sure. Tough seven. Yep, wounded on five. That is two wounds at AP minus one. AP minus one, that'll be a four up save. Didn't make either of them. Two wounds, and now here comes the fusion blaster. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nothing. You get to make your charge. All right, so it's an eight inch charge. Eight inch charge. There we go. Nope, that's a seven. That's a seven. Didn't make it. It was a nine inch charge needing an eight. Yeah, it's a nine inch charge needing an eight. These guys. Overwatch. Starting with the two fusion blasters. Six is re-rolling ones. First cannon, you mean? Yes. That's a lot of fusion blasters. That would be fun with the fusion blasters. <laughs> I mean, they're boys, First. so I don't know if it would matter right. so much. Three hits. Okay. Wounding on three. That is two wounds at minus one. That's just going to knock these two boys down. And fusion blaster for the fun of it. My single fusion blaster hits. Hey, you got it. Wounding on a two. Yeah, one of those boys just got vapor, right? right. Needing a nine. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh got you. it. Definitely got it. All right, so orcs have completely surrounded these stealth suits um, with the choppas and the uh, warpath on them. They're going to get 96 attacks. These three are out of range. Um, so we're gonna roll that and see how many they're gonna hit. And we will be using the Assault Dice app, which I, sorry to say, doesn't work for any of the phones now. I just had it, uh, I'm lucky, like that. So normally hitting on threes, but because they are stealth suits, it's gonna be uh, hitting on fours. So the dice center button, hitting on fours. So click the four button. That's 15 sixes and they're goth. All right, so these are the goth. Exploding hits, being on fours. So we're gonna add nine dice. And then wounding on four. All right, so that's 51 attacks, wounding on fours. Strength four, touch us four. And you click the four. You got too many dice. 23 wounds. Needing threes to save. That, the, that, that, doesn't, they're, they're that doesn't look good. They, Definitely some dead stuff. They're, uh, they turn on their stealth protocol for light. Okay. All right, and we'll, we'll be right back after they consolidate. Yeah. All right, end of orc turn one. We use these uh, consolidation to put them back on their trays. They're still within holding distance of objective four. Cell suits still hold two. Weird boy holds one. Nobody holds six. And the grots and the fl flash kits are over here chilling. For morale, these boys only lost three guys, and their leadership currently is 27, so they pass morale. All right. And Tao will be back at the end of movement, turn one. All right, end of Tao movement, turn one. Aaron, what happened? All right, so starting it off in classic Farsight style, my commander right here declared Mon Ka, allowing me to essentially move this big blob right here without suffering a penalty to hit. My ghost kills advance back here so I can start to get some backfield protection while keeping their big guns in range. My crisis suits, they did not advance for uh, some reasons that you guys will see later. Moved up, got all their uh, burst cannons in range of this blob of boys up here. Then Farsight moved over here to support these bodyguards right here. Uh, Commander's going to hang out back here. We're going to attempt to do some damage on these jets. Maybe the Morgan out. We'll see how that goes. Uh, my two cold stars moved up here. We're going to see what we can do about these uh, death dreads. Then. My commander, my cadre fireblood back here, they held in place, as well as these three squads of fire warriors right here. And that is everything that I did with my movement. Fantastic. And we'll come back, psychic phase. Done. All right, Tau shooting phase, turn one. Aaron, what, what's, what, what's going what's to happen? All right, so starting with my shooting phase, I'm going to start with spending two CP to use something from the new Psychic Awakening, excuse me. Uh, coordinated Engagement. What Coordinated Engagement does is I pick a unit of XV-8 crisis suit or bodyguards. 
exhibit A, and I pick an enemy unit, and then for the purposes of shooting, I treat that one unit they shoot at as having five marker lights automatically. Oh, snap. So, come over here on this mob of boys. <gasps> Gasp. So now these crises suit are going to be hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. And then I'm going to use another stratagem, command and control node. Commander Farsight is going to sacrifice his shooting in order to give this unit of Crisis bodyguards re-rolling failed hits, and, or excuse me, failed wounds. Bring me down to seven command points. We hate you, Aaron. I love you too. So, starting off, just get the uh, odd man out of the way. We're going to use the air, air frag projector uh, for D6 hits. One hit. Thank God. Hitting on two. Rerolling ones. And wounding on a four, rerolling fail. One wound, no AP. They have force field. So, so fives up. Field. Boom. Oh! Sorry, Black that's and a, blue energy. This that's okay. Sense. It's all right. He's got a lot of burst cans. All right. All right. Sending 40 shots his way. Hitting on twos, rerolling ones. All right. Those are all hits. Rerolling ones. It's a large pile of ones. Oh, only two missed. Wounding on threes. Rerolling failed wounds. Boom. For that many wounds. <laughs> All right. Fives up. Okay. The 18 perish. 18, 18 orcs. Deadly 18 orcs obliterated, dusted into the green mist. 12 remaining. Now the new task strategy allowing me to shoot twice. No, I'm just kidding. What? Don't you have that one too? That's a uh, commander. Yeah. That is a commander. Are they in cohesion? All right, after a couple little changes and 18 orcs dead, that war boss is going to have to bust some heads here pretty soon. Tao, what else are you going to absolutely obliterate? <laughs> uh, having to think. These marker lights go away. So those marker lights aren't staying for that? No, it's only for those battle seats. Check in. All right, moving on over here. Let's see what these Cold Star battle suits can do with these Death Dreads. I'll start with uh, this Cold Star into your already wounded Death Dread. Three shots from my Fusion Blaster, rerolling ones to hit and wound because of Far Sight Enclaves. And rerolling one. That was three hits. Tough seven. Wounding on threes. We were only ones to wound. It's only if he's within a certain distance. But two wounds at AP minus four. Save. Three up, and that's minus four, so there is no save. All right. How many wounds do you have? I have five left on that. Not looking good. I am within melt the range. 2d6 pick the highest. Here's the first one. Six, six wounds. He's dead. Does he explode? He does not. He does not explode. Get him on out of here. That is first strike. And now my second commander into the other death tread. Same thing, re-rolling hit and wound rolls of one, three fusion blasters going into his face. Re-rolling that one, three hits, and then wounding on three. Before anybody asks, we play majority facing. If it, yes, the, the three is, it, it, it works. It, it works. Re-rolling those two ones. Oh. Three wounds of 2d6, pick the highest. First shot that goes through for four, four wounds. wounds. Second shot for six, so sitting at seven, or excuse me, ten. Fourteen uh, wounds. Fourteen wounds onto that death tread. Does he explode? <laughs> he does not. He does not. He just crumbles and falls. This cadre fireblade up here is going to shoot his marker light into those boys down there, hitting on two. That is de most definitely a marker light. I will spend a CP to add an additional D3 marker lights plus the one for uplink marker light for plus. Two more, so three marker lights total. Next, we're going to move on to this squad up here. In the rapid fire range, given they have 30 inch pulse rifles, I am going to use four pulse rifles into them, and the squad leader will fire his marker light into them. Starting with the squad leader hitting on a four. That is not a marker light, so eight more shots from pulse rifles. These are hitting on fours, re rolling ones. No ones to re-roll. And these are wounding on three, given their strength five against tough four. Four. That is two. One wound. One wow. Wound. Okay. Fail. 
Moving on to the next unit of fire warriors over here. Marker light, same target. Pulse rifle, same method of engagement. Marker light hitting on a four, rerolling one. That is four marker lights. Bring up to four. Four is rerolling ones. Or excuse me, uh, just four shots. They're not within rapid fire. Good thing I caught myself. Reroll that one. Two hits and no, no wounds. wounds. Oof. Wop wop. The fire warriors back here. Same shots, four pulse rifles, one marker light. Start with the marker light, hitting on four, rerolling one. Man, I saw that five. Shooting like an orc today. Yeah, you're shooting like an orc too, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> four is rerolling ones. There we go. It's because he called me out. Now wounding on three. And that this is one, one wound. Done. Yeet. All right. This squad of fireworks right here, these four pulse rifles are going to shoot into the squad of boys. Well, this marker light can just barely see this front orc right there, so he's shooting his marker light over at them. Shooting that first marker light into the big blob of boys. Hits. They're up to five marker lights. It's not good. Not good. Not looking good. And then the four other shots. And no rerolls, wounding on three. Two wounds on your 12 boys left. Five up. Nope. And then this squad, or actually this cadre fireblade's gonna shoot his marker light into those boys over there. He was not in mon cod distance, so he will be hitting on a three. But that, that did the job. One marker light for them. And now this squad of fire warriors are going to shoot everything into that mob over there. Uh, five shots. Hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Rerolling the one. Nope. And three to wound. One wound, no AP. Five up. Boom. Oh, no, you made it. Would you look at that? That's what you get for using your own dice. Mm. Yeah, just not touching, <laughs> not touching the Tau dice, they're tainted. This unit of stealth suits right here are going to shoot their three burst cannons into the mob of boys here and the fusion blaster into the flyer, which will still be hitting on fours because of velocity tracker. Oh. And we are not getting cover saved because of the marker lights, correct? correct? Correct. So that would be 12 shots from fusion blasters. However, your flyer will be getting a cover save at minus four AP if I hit. So here's the 12 shots into the boys, hitting on threes, re-rolling one. Reroll that one, get that two out of there. 10 hits, wounding on threes, no re-rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six wounds at minus one. That is six dead orc boys. The fusion blaster into the flyer. At uh, minus one? Hitting that fours, but I'd roll a six anyway, so. And that will be a three to wound. That is a wound at AP minus four. You do get cover though. No save. I am not in melter range, so it's just one D6 for one wound. That'll bring it down to 11 wounds. This commander right here is gonna overcharge both of his cyclic ion blasters into those boys for six shots. And twos, re-rolling one. And re-rolling that one. Take the one out. Yeah. So six hits, and now wounding on twos against those four. Six wounds at AP minus two, D3 damage to three, five up in bone. You made one. <laughs> five slain leaving, five remaining. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, now moving on to this commander over here. He's gonna shoot both of his missile pods into that squad of five boys. Hitting on twos, re-rolling one. Four shots. All hit. Wounding on threes. That is three wounds at AP minus two. Two perish. Two more are slain. This ghost kill, he's going to shoot. He's gonna, he's gonna shoot his main gun into those boys, and just because there's nothing else to do with them, we're gonna send his flamer into the flyer over here. We'll be overcharging his main gun. 
just because he does get reroll ones. So hitting on four is rerolling one. Reroll that one. Oof, he will take a mortal wound, but that is four hits. These are wounding on twos. For four wounds at AP minus one, D3 damage. Yep, that that's, the end. that's it. That's the end that'll, of the That'll take those boys out of the game. <laughs> Alright, now 2d6 automatic hits into that flyer for seven hits. Pretty average. That's exactly average. That is exactly average. <laughs> and these will be wounding on fives, re rolling ones, because I am within six, just barely. There's three wounds at no AP. Uh, normally a four up, but a three up because of uh, fly boys. Because of the automatic cover. Oof, saved one. Leading him 10 wounds. Our second ghost kill to shoot everything into this fire here. Overcharging his main gun. I do a velocity tracker, so I negate that minus one to hit. And I am within 12, so I will get reroll ones. I'm within six, so I reroll ones to wound as well. And on fours, reroll ones. Rerolling these two ones. All right, no mortal wounds. Wounding on three. And re-rolling those ones. That was a three. So four wounds, AP minus four. Or excuse me, AP minus one. Be a four up. Saving none of them. Ooh, D3 a piece. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> five wounds. Five wounds. Not bad. Could have been a lot been worse. A lot worse. <laughs> I don't know why I said not bad, but let's see. Not bad for him. And a flamer. For, me. for another seven with the flamer. Wounding on five, zero and one. Three wounds, no AP. Three up safe. One more. All right, I believe that is the end of the shoosting phase. Charge phase. What will we do here? Tau bodyguards charging this was bomb blast a jet right? correct overwatch first smash a gun heavy d3 for three shots Injured. nothing on that one Boss boom mega cannon heavy d3 two of them that's four four Good for those sixes and we got two daka daka daka, daka. ooh three so right, three one. hits and a single mortal wound you know it's coming <laughs> Wounding on threes. For one. One wound. Minus three, we're gonna go ahead and save your protocol that onto a drone, two up to the drone. Goes to the drone, and a five up, feel no pain. Nope, that is one drone dead. Did you make the charge? No. Need a six inch charge. Need a six. Definitely in. It's a nine. Six bodyguards successfully charged. And surrounding, staying outside of an inch of this thing. And what, uh, what's gonna happen? Now I'm going to use a new far size strategy called Furious Assault for 1 CP. I roll a D6 for every jetpack unit that ends a charge within 1 inch of that model. And on a 3 plus, that unit suffers 1 mortal wound. And that is 6 mortal wounds. Jeez. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Blasted Jet has 5 wounds remaining after the, the ridiculous <laughs> tackling of the battle suit. All right, next, Commander Farsight is gonna charge the DACA jet here. Living the Farsight dream, everybody. Yeah. Hopefully he'll, he'll jump up and start chopping wings with his demon sword, these orc jets. DACA jet, though, has a lot of, a lot of Overwatch. A lot of DACA. A lot of DACA. 18 shots, look for sixes. Oof, not a lot. That's three. We will get some Daka Daka out of that. Nothing. Nope. Three, strength six, toughness five. Three's up. For two, at minus one. Two. I'll go ahead and save your protocol. It. One goes to far sight. Uh, first, feel no pain for the drone. One drone dead. And far sight's four up. And Farsight takes a wound. Farsight taking a wound in Overwatch. Can he make this charge? No. Wow. Farsight barely making it into this, this charge. 
<laughs> have a little trouble with those thrusters. Yeah. All right. Couldn't really scale the bridge, could he? No. <laughs> and now this commander will charge the docker jet as well. All right. No Overwatch. He definitely, uh, he's makes definitely, definitely in. getting in there. I'm gonna swing him right here. Yeah. He saw Farsight trip over the the bridge and was like, I, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> that is it for charges. All right, and we'll move into the Tau fight phase. We're gonna start with the Crisis bodyguard over here. I'm gonna use another stratagem for one CP from the new from Psychic Awakening. And what this does is, if you have Crisis bodyguard within either three or six inches, either way it applies here, they get to reroll all hits and all wounds in the fight phase. So after a gratuitous amount of fighting, these battle suits got this jet down to one wound remaining. Off to Farsight. All right, Farsight coming in with four attacks against this uh, Zaka jet, hitting on threes because of their subculture, but rerolling ones because Farsight and orcs. And minus one. Because, uh, yeah, we just said that. I, I said that. Thank oh, you. Oh, I thought it was a plus one. So, re rolling that one. So, two misses. But it is a strength eight blade for his down blade, so wounding on threes. Uh, but I will CP that. Needing a three. And it worked. For two AP minus four. D3 damage. Can we do it? He's dead. He's dead. Does he explode? Yeah. He does not. He does not. And just because I can, my commander here will consolidate in, and Farsight will consolidate as well. Well, he consolidates and he piles in and consolidates. Ah, oh, so another three? Well, no, 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 he can pile in and consolidate. Oh, okay, yeah, he piled in and consolidated, and then Farsight consolidated, and you get to make your attacks back with your wasp bomb. I, I don't even know what that looks like. Uh, we're sitting at one wound left, so that's one attack. Um, hitting on, hitting on fives. No. End of Tau fight phase. Daka Jet completely destroyed the wasp bomb on one wound remaining. And we'll come back at the end of Orc moving turn two. Morale for these orc boys. Well, they lost nine this turn? Yeah. And your leadership is 19? Yes. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I do have to do leadership for my drones, though. All right. Orcs pass morale having 19 remaining, only losing nine. <laughs> Mainly because everything else that was shot at is dead. But moving on. Uh, morale for these drones. Leadership six. They lost one. So on a six, one runs. They're on a five, they pass. And then same thing for this squad of three drones here. And they pass. Orc movement, summary turn two. Uh, for Squirt's Earth, uh, these orc boys had objective four, so they got one victory point for that. This weird boy, this Grotz, had objective three, giving them uh, three victory points at the beginning of the turn. So movement phase, what did you do? All right, so the Wazbomb, we saw he was in a tough spot over here. Uh, he's actually moved over, uh, getting him near uh, these uh, fire warriors. The other Daka Jet took a hard left, moving over here next to the Fire Warriors and uh, the Commander over there, as well as that uh, Cadre. Morkanot just kind of repositioned itself, getting ready to uh, do some crumping, where Bosch pushed up. These flash kits uh, on the runes popped up over here in order to get some angles and a little bit of cover, and the Grots kind of repositioned themselves inside of the ruins. And then lastly, the uh, Mega Knobs had uh, use their teleporter pad and uh, position themselves uh, next to these ghost kills, getting ready to do some crumping in there. End of the movement phase. Uh, this uh, was bombs on his last uh, leg here. So he is going to do flying headbutt. That's me one CP. Each unit within six inches is gonna take D3 mortal wounds. He plows that into the ground. So he's going to automatically crash and burn. Yes. So for the units we have within six inches, I have my own Fire here, Daka Jet. These two units of Fire Warriors and this commander here are oh. going to be the ones. So crashing and burning. Starting with the Daka Jet. D3 mortal wounds. <gasps> Ooh, three. That's the three. big three. Of course, I do that to myself. Step bringing it down to eight. These Fire Warriors over here. One. Only these one. Fire death. Warriors over here. 
three. And now for this cold star battle suit, he's gonna lose a big two. Two. Middle of the road, not terrible. Leaving him four. And the Waz Bomb is dead. To the orc psychic phase, turn two. So first psychic power we're gonna try to manifest is going to be Warpath, looking for a seven. There are no boys next to him, so he's not getting any bonuses. Hard seven, that's a three. That is a no. Lastly, we'll do a smite onto the bodyguards. Give me a five, and that's a ten. Not an eleven, so only D3 mortal wounds onto these bodyguards. And you kill one. Two. Leaving one with one wound. Okay. Orc shooting phase. Who are you starting with? Uh, we start with the Daka Jet. They're going to fire onto this group of fire warriors over here. Everything. All right. 18 shots from the Daka Jet onto these fire warriors over here. Hitting on four. It's two Daka Daka. Nothing there. Strength six, up is three. Ooh, horrid. Rough. Are you up uh, four wounds? Minus one, but I do get cover, so four up safe. Killing two. All right, these orc boys shooting sluggas into this squad over here, leaving these two up here on the objective unscathed. Ten are gonna be able to see them, so ten shots hitting on fives. One Daka Daka. So three hits. Wounding on threes. Two wounds, no minus. Uh, you are uncovered. So three up save. Oh, got it. two. All right, so with flash gifts, who's going where? All right, the captain with his uh, plus one is going to be firing at this back row of drones. The rest of these flash gifts are going to be targeting this front row. So they did move, so it's going to be a minus one because they're heavy. The captain has a plus one for his git finder. So these guys will be hitting on fives. The captain will be hitting on fours. So we'll start with the captains. Flash gates have a blue skill of four, which is awesome. All right, so the captain. Ooh, all hits. All right. Strength five, toughness four. Or strength, strength six, toughness four. Two. Two and minus two. Four up in ball for shield drones. One goes through. How many wounds per? Flat two. Flat two. Uh, two feel no pains and five up for a shield drop. Oh, he's dead. Takes a wound. That's uh, 12 more shots going into this back row over here. Hitting on fives. A couple Daka is here. Grab from the wrong squad. That's a glorious amount of hits. Glorious amount of hits. Nothing more from here. I'm going to threes. We have six. 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 Four ups. And three go through. You may have killed the squad. It's not looking good for them. First one, two feel no pains. Nope. Nope. Second one. Nope. And the last one. Nope. That squad is wiped. All right. Orcs or uh, flash is showing off on a six up. They get to shoot again. <gasps> Yo! Oh! So it is going to have to be the closest unit they can see, though. I believe that actually is going to have to be this ghost kill here. Yeah. So we'll start with the captain. Uh, minus one, though, right? Because minus two. Minus That's two. Because they are. It, they just have to be within three of a stealth drone. It doesn't matter if it was the ones they started. So everything's hitting on six. Anyways. Everything's hitting on six. Starting with. So you just do everything. Yeah, we're going to do everything. All right. So everything into the ghost kills. Ghost kill right here, hitting on sixes because of all the negatives. Got a couple. Should you get Daka, Daka, Daka? We do get Daka, so maybe we can get four more, hopefully. Nothing. <laughs> All right, toughness? It's a tough six. Strength six, four. winning in fours. Uh, one. 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 Save your protocol. That is a okay. success. And feel no pain for that single mortal wound. Nope. No, that is one more drone. But you should be happy. Uh, I think it had to be over here. Oh, you're right. You're right. My bad. These mega knobs are going to fire everything they have into these back two stealth drones here. All right. That will be a minus one. So each. I think that would have helped you to do before you shot your flash kits. Probably. So minus one. So sixes. Looking for sixes. 
Three. Fours up. All of them. Three. AP. None. Okay, I need a four up armor save. And one dies. These ten grots are going to fire into the bodyguards. Hitting on fours. It's not a bad roll. Do you get Dr. Tucker? I know they don't get clan culture. Yes. So All right. One. Grot, Daka Daka. Got it. And tough five. Five. Nice. Fives. We have one. All right. Three up armor save. Oh, it was close there. The rocket into the bodyguards. All right. Looking for a five up. Did not get it. And now onto the Morkonar. Morkonar's gonna fire everything into these bodyguards right in front of him, trying to soften him up for uh, that charge that's coming up here. Uh, we'll start with the custom mega blaster. So one hitting on force. No. Next, it's going to be the mega zappa 3D3. Three. For three, two, and one. Fours. One. Not looking great. Strength eight, toughness. Is that the one where two causes immortal? No, that was the first one. Okay. And that was a, a one causes mortal, and they're not minus one to hit. Tough five. We got threes. Gross. That was a two. <laughs> and then lastly, the rocket. God damn. And then the twin big shooters. That sparkly bits. Uh, He's a little wasted on this one today. Looking for horse. A little better. Where was that earlier? I know, right? Two Dakas. He's shooting like he's Tau. <laughs> well, he does have a four up ballistic skill. Strength five. Tough five, four to win. Five. Uh, was that? Nope. Uh, that was a hit, I think. Okay. So roll that to wound. Got it. Six. Six. All right, well, I'm gonna roll one at a time for him. So the first one, on the, no, no AP, correct? No AP for these right. ones, no. Needing a three. Ooh, there's one crisis suit. And now we're gonna move over to the one with the uh, two up armor. For here's, I'll do it rolling three, three at a time. Yeah. Takes a wound. The last two. Ooh, wow, one. not bad. All right, that's the end of orc shooting. Off to the orc charge phase. Uh, Morganaut doing uh, a multi charge onto the bodyguards and the commander. Okay. All right, uh, I'll start with the air fragmentation projector for three shots. Six is re rolling one. Nothing. Oh, wait, no, re roll the one. Nothing. It's eight burst cannons, eight times four is 32. Hitting out sixes, re rolling ones. Seen quite sure. a number of sixes in there. Camera sure loves those little dice, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wounding on fives. Rerolling one. That's gone. One, two, three, four wounds at minus one. Two saved. Bringing him down to 15 wounds. All right, now moving on to the commander. He will be charging his uh, cyclic ion blasters, rolling three at a time. Hitting on sixes, re-rolling ones. One hit. One hit, uh, wounding on four. One wound at minus two. Five up info. Oh! D3 damage. For three wounds. You know who else wants a piece of the action? Commander Farsight. All right. Uh, two shots from his high intensity plasma rifle, hitting on sixes, rerolling one, nothing. And that's that for Overwatch. Charges, you need a... Gonna need a five to get the commander in there as well. All right, five for the commander, anything will get the, the bodyguards. Four, here we go. Look at that lovely space the, the plane left it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All, All right, right. Uh, it is perfect. Oh. We're going to need a five. The war boss is going to want a piece of this as well. So five for him to get in there. 
And he is in. He's in. I never get to use my warlord tree. Mega knobs charging at these guys outside of flamer range, so you need a nine. You charging both or just one? Uh, I am going to charge just this one, but he was going to uh, obviously greater good yeah. that one. Yeah. So they were both overwatching to them, starting with him overcharging his cyclic ion raker, hitting on sixes, rerolling ones. You got cocked back there. Knocking over your grots. In typical orky faction. Ooh, two hits. Wounding toughness? Four. Uh, wounding on twos. Two wounds at minus one. Uh, are they in range of uh, Groucho? Uh, I think they are, but I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, so three up save. One failed. All right. Command reroll. And he's good. Okay. And now the other cyclic guy on Raker. He will overcharge. Zero and ones. And then wounding on two. So one wound at minus one. Saved. All right. There you go. So I need to at least get a nine. Need a nine. So for the charge roll for the Mega Knobs. Eights and eight. Here we go. Here we go. Oof. Ooh, seven. That Rough. is not enough. Failed charge. Oof. Lastly, uh, these boys are going to multi-charge. These two squads of fire warriors here. We're looking for a six to get in here and a nine to get in that back to them. All right, eight pulse rifle shots coming in from those fire warriors. Hitting on sixes, mm -hmm. re-rolling ones. Three hits. Three hits, wounding on three. Two wounds at no IP. Looking for six up saves. And the t-shirts failed them. The t-shirts did fail them. All right, charge. That's a seven. Here we go. It's, nope, it's we're risky. Just, we're just gonna call it in right here and then we'll pile in to follow. Fantastic, and we'll be back after that. Okay. Fun right. fact, Farsight was just out of his six inch heroic intervention. So that did not happen. Sad. By one eighth of an inch. All right, fight phase orcs, starting with these guys. They already piled in. So we're going to get 10 boys attacking these two here, and then these four are in range to uh, do some crumping on these uh, right, outliers. So 30 into these guys and 12 into these guys. So back to the assault dice app. 30 attacks going into these fire warriors over here, hitting on threes. <laughs> they are goff, so seven more... We'll do seven more attacks. Yeah, do seven more rolls. And then we'll just add those to it. Hitting on threes. That's seven more hits. Wounding on threes, strength four. All right, that's 19 saves. No minus, if that makes you feel better. It does make me feel a little bit better, but not very optimistic. First Legends or failures, we'll <laughs> find out. <laughs> Four up armor save. And yep, that, that, that's it for them. All right. And now 12 into these fire warriors over here. Hitting on three, six to explode. Nothing from the, the golf clan culture there. In the entries. That is five. Five, no minus. Maybe it's possible. After seeing their brethren over here turn into blue mist, they might not be feeling the greatest about their armor. A little shaky in their boots. They do not survive. And they're dead. Orc war boss is going to declare an attack on these bodyguards, but Tau, Tau, I'm using a far sight stratagem called defense in numbers. When a XV8 unit is targeted in the shooting phase or the fight phase, they get a five plus feel no pain until the end of that phase. Bloody kids. All right, so that's going to be five attacks. Uh, normally hitting on twos, but with that power clot, it's going to be a minus one. Uh, he's getting that extra attack because he's took that uh, biggest boss, that one CP. All right, so hitting on three, six, six blood. No sixes. No sixes. So three. Strength 12, wounding on twos. Three wounds. That's going to be a minus three, D3 apiece. All right. Uh, he does have a shield gen, so four up involved. Because he has to take it. He has to take it. 
Makes it. Saves the first one. Saves the second one. Saves, saves oh, the third one. You're messing up my crumping. All right. Moving on. Look at those feel no pain strategies. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, completely. Just completely wasted, but just, then again, it made me feel worse anyway. Well, it still counts for the Morkonaut, so we're not out of the woods yet. Morkonauts are going to be targeting the uh, bodyguards. Uh, he's going to use the smash characteristic, turning his four attacks into 12 at uh, strength 8, hitting on threes. Sixes explode. Okay, you still go off. These will all hit. Strength eight, toughness. Five. Three up. Four, two, four, six, eight, nine wounds. Eight beat. That's going to be a minus two. Two damage apiece. Minus two. Two damage apiece, sir. I uh, will make these saves at one at a time then, starting with my very wounded bodyguard over there. Uh, four up save. Okay, he finally bites the dust, except two feel no pains. Nope, he is down. He's definitely down, finally. And seven more onto the rest of them. Now needing fives. Right. Two feel no pains. One wound onto him. Saved, does not save. Makes them, Makes them both. Not saved. Fails them both. Fails them. And there's another dead crazy suit. Nope, feel no pains. <laughs> nope, feel no pains. Nope, he is dead. There is two bodyguards remaining and the commander who looks awfully a lot like a bodyguard. He's got <laughs> the head tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Tau make their fight back. So we'll start with the commander, four attacks into the Morkonaut, hitting on threes. One. One hit. Wounding on a five. One wound, minus one AP. Saved. Okay. And six attacks from the bodyguards, hitting on fours. And, no re oh wait. No, no, far side's not within six inches. Of them? Oh yeah, they do get that reroll one. You're right. Reroll the one to hit? Yes. Got it. Nope. Wounding on five. One wound minus one. No. One save minus one. Saved. Saved. Okay. Alright, and that is the end of Orc turn two. Over here we did solid dent to the bodyguards. A nice dent to these uh, drones over here. These boys over here completely obliterated. They are struggling. Center board is still pretty solid for Tau though. Um, we'll do morale with these guys. All right, uh, leadership seven. So neat. on a five, one runs. Six is not a pass. They are okay. Good. And uh, drones, these lost. They lost one in that front row on a six one runs. Nope. Nope. And they lost one on a six one runs. Nope. Bodyguards. Bodyguards, leadership eight. They lost four on a four or five. One or two run on a six is an auto pass. They were good. They're good. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's the end of Orc turn two. We'll be back with the end of move for Tau turn two. So Tau movement, turn two, round two. So this squad of three boys stay put over here. These two units stay put over here. Starting to stretch our units out over here. Farsight declares second mount cow, allowing this ghost keel to advance over here, not take a penalty. However, he was out of range, so he will be a minus one to hit. He did not advance. Uh, these two squads closing in on these boys over here, as well as this cadre holding on to objective six. Uh, these crisis bodyguard fell back from combat over here as well as this commander Sort of bunkering up getting ready to take whatever's coming uh, This commander just moved forward a little bit so he could get line of sight to the Morkonaut and still hold on to objective two 
have another cold star over here creeping up on that weird boy. And then the last unit over here, the uh, stealth suits moved over, took over objective four, and got into range to engage those boys on objective. All right, how many five. victory points did you attain at the beginning of the turn? Beginning of the turn, I obtained two for controlling objective two and controlling objective six. Now I'm trying to regain some board control. This game has been very back and forth though, so let's, let's see how this is gonna go. All right, we'll return to Tau Psychic Phase. Not happening. Tau shooting phase. All right, first we're gonna shoot this cadre, his marker light into those boys, hitting on a two. Hit. Hits. There's one marker light on them. This cadre is gonna fire his marker light into the same target, however he moves, so it's hitting on a three. Good enough. Good enough government work. All right, uh, moving over here. Put that right there. Yeah, that's two marker lights. Moving over here to this squad, pulse rifles into them and the marker light into them as well. If they're within 12, it counts as one marker light higher, which it does, so they will not get a cover save. Had they been in cover? They are. Does that answer your question? Hills lies <laughs> cover. Starting with the marker light hitting on a four. Good enough. If the orcs believe it enough, it's true. <laughs> well, they can see their toes. <laughs> and now four shots from those pulse rifles because they are in rapid fire. Rerolling that one. Goes to the marker light. And they all hit. Strength five, top of four. Wounding on three. That is three wounds, no AP. T-shirts? Not today. Not today. The orc on top of the hill was like, I'm king of the hill. Yeah, he's it's just sniped, the target. Yeah. Sniped out of nowhere. Moving on to this squad over here, we will fire... Stop that. We will fire everything into those boys over there and his marker light. Uh, they are in ra within rapid fire range as well as within the cadre fire blade, so they will be getting three shots per pulse rifle. Volley of fire. <laughs> Starting with that marker light hitting on a five. Oh, good enough. And now they get up for last turn. Yeah. And now that's going to be 12 shots from those pulse rifles. And on fours, rerolling one. One, one there. Nope, two ones, excuse me. Get those out of there. Not a super hot roll, but those are the four hits. Wounding on three. Four, two wounds, no MP. Two more bite the dust. Two more. Do I want to spend my last command point? But it will allow me to show off. How does he have more command points than you do right now? He started with four. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my follow-up question to your question. Why does he have more dead units than I do? Do you have a, do you have a retort? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will spend my last command point Use another far side stratagem called Danger Close. That is when a Fire Warrior Squad or a Breacher Squad is within 12 inches of an enemy unit, they get to re-roll the wound roll against that unit. And because they're within 12 inches, this counts as having five marker lights. So, that will be 15 shots from them. Hitting on threes. Because your, uh, your sergeant isn't gonna, he's gonna fire his rifle? He's gonna fire his rifle. Should have specified. Only time it fires rifle, there would be no point for that squad to shoot their marker light. Correct, because they have technically five right now. All right. Hitting on threes, rerolling one. See some, see a decent amount of twos in there. Two twos isn't decent. <laughs> All right. And now they will wound on threes, rerolling failed. And all but one wound, so that is six, ten wounds, no AP onto those boys. Rut row. All sixes, baby, let's go. Not a six. Oh, there's oh, one. one. There's one. Mm -hmm. So that is nine. Post one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Three orc boys remaining from the destruction. These stealth suits. You try and clean them up. They don't get covered due to the amount of marker lights. And the fusion blaster is just out of range of this DACA jet. If there was, I forgot to check if there are any within 12. No, so it's four marker lights. So they will hit on fours. Are you rolling ones? Whew, that's cocked. That is cocked. That is, that is also cocked. cocked. There we go. There we go. And it's a one. That's a two. All that worked for nothing. All right, these will wound on threes. And that is six wounds at AP minus one. Then they are done. They have no save. So those boys are out of play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those boys are out of here. Moving on to my cold star shooting the shaman, or weird boy, however you want to look at it. He's within 12 and 6, so he's going to reroll ones, and he's also going to reroll wounds of one. He did not advance, so he will be hitting on twos. Well hit. Tough four, correct? Yes. Wounding on twos, rerolling one. Not looking good for him. Three wounds at AP minus four. Let's see how much damage that would have been. <laughs> Six. Plus so 12. 12. That was 18 wounds onto that weird boy. Does he explode? <laughs> Does he explode? <laughs> These crisis bodyguards are going to shoot into the war boss. They will get 16 shots. He's hitting on threes, rerolling one, for, given they are veterans. I always. Rerolling those ones. Toughness nails gonna be toughness six, strength five in the fusion or the first cannon. First cannons. Needing five swoons. Needing five swoons. Rerolling one though. Not looking good. All right, that is three wounds at minus one. Looking for a four up in bloom. Two go through. Now, Farsight will be shooting his high intensity plasma into that war boss. Hitting on um, two, re rolling one. That's not so fun. Re rolling that one. Hits. And wounding on fours. fours. That's two wounds at minus three, two damage apiece. So your four pin will save from. One goes three, so two damage. Bring him down to three wounds remaining. Right. And now we're going to go into the Cyclic Ion Commander, into your Warlord, hoping to finish him off. Overcharging, here is the first shot. Rerolling those ones. Three hits. He's a commander, so he only needs twos to hit. And the second volley, rerolling that one. All hit. Wounding on threes, strength eight against tough six. And they all wound at AP minus two, D3 damage apiece. Six, four for horrible saves. And he's dead. Yeah, even, 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 a, one damage, even a one damage piece. War boss is kaput. Slay the warlord. Next, we will do this commander into the Morkonaut. He is just barely within 12, so he will get reroll ones. That is three shots. Hitting on two, three rolling ones. All hit, and tough eight, strength eight, wounding on fours. Oh, that's unfortunate. And you are not within six. I'm not within six. I think, I think you needed that. Oh, he, <laughs> it, it, working out in the grots, grots being you know the linchpin of my whole whole plan here, are holding it down. You know these uh, these mega knobs uh, not doing a heck of a lot. This board looking very clean for an orc battle. Next vote. Next bout of shooting, we will do my commander into his flash gets. Hitting on twos, no rerolls. All hit. And strength seven against tough six, or tough five. Either way, it's tough four. Tough four, either way, it's three to wound. They all wound AP minus two, D3 damage apiece. But she will get cover. So five up save. For none of them. <laughs> All right, let's do these wounds. First one takes 
One, one wound. Second one, no matter what I roll, is just gonna kill that same. Third, third wound does one, and no matter what I roll, he's dead. So two dead flash kits. I'm gonna send this ghost kill into those flash kits, and I'll, I'll overcharge. Why not? Live life on the edge. So six shots, hitting on fours. This is the ghost kill that was affected by Monka. All but one hit. Top four, correct? Yes. How many got two? Five wounds, AP minus one. Four up save. Wow, made them all. Nice. Good for you. Good for you. I feel like it's not that. <laughs> I feel like there's more coming. <laughs> well, no, my second guest, Keto, will overcharge on them as well, which is dangerous given I. He is in a minus one to hit, but live life on the edge. Hitting on fives. He will take one mortal wound, but that is two hits, now wounding on two. Two wounds at minus one. Four up. Fail both. Not so fortunate. Damage roll, D3 apiece. First one's gonna take two wounds. The second one will take three wounds. Sweet. Captain remaining there. That is the end of Tao shooting. Uh, that was, <laughs> that was, that hurt. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that was mean. Any, any charges? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah? Fortune favors the ball. We'll send those bodyguards back in against that Morkanath. Can they charge up if they fall back? You are correct. Farsight into the Morkanath. Overwatch. The... When they shoot us into far sight. Ooh, only seen one there. Daka Daka. Got it. Hey. Uh, reinforce. One. one. No minuses. How much damage per? One. Alright, uh, no AP. Alright, three up save. Got it. I'm good. For the custom mega blaster. No. Nope. Another mortal wound? <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to do it, I'll do it to myself. I think he's, yeah. Done, yeah, he's done more damage I've done, to himself. Yeah, I've done more damage to himself. <laughs> yeah. All right, heavy D3 for the custom mega Zappa. It's uh, four shots. Looking for sixes. Got one. Taka taka. Got two. Hey. Strength eight. Toughness five. Three is up. For one. one. At minus three, D6. D6, save your protocol. Against the drone, feel no pain. Got it. One drone dead. Rocket coming in. Hits. Oh, Daka Daka. Nope. Oh. Three's up. Got Ooh, it. got it. Give me one more. Minus nice. two. Eight, uh, damage? Three. Are you within range? Save your protocol. Yeah, it's. Feel comfortable. That's the win. Three. Yeah, absolutely. It is. Yeah. All right, two up. To the drone, feel no pain. No, nope, that is the last drone. All right. All right. Need Anything charge? else? Nope. Needing a seven-inch charge. That's a fun. Mm. Wasted. Hey, not for me. I mean, I might have hurt myself, but those drones are the bane of my existence. What do you think? Should I risk my cold star into them? No, I'm gonna leave my cold star <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that is the end of my turn. All right. Turn two, orcs, uh, morale. Morale on, on flash kits. Captain has a leadership seven. We lost four, so we need to just roll. We'll figure it out. They run away. That'll be the end of the flash kit, and Captain's gonna flee. All right, Captain of the flash kit runs away. He, he does not feel comfortable with the goths leading it, this charge, and uh, just scrams with his booty. Yeah, I know Meanwhile, Scary. These grots down here are living their best life. All right, and we'll come back. Uh, orcs, turn three. And one victory point for the grots over there, holding holding firm that objective. Um, what else? What moved? Uh, Morkanot pushed up to get in range uh, to charge uh, the commander of Farsight and the rest of these bodyguards. Uh, the 
Mega Knobs with their uh, really, you know, ridiculously long four inch movement were able to cheat up a little bit to get a uh, closer charge there. And these Grot pushed out of the runes to be able to get their uh, deadly Grot Blasters in range of these bodyguards. Daka Jet took a 90 from over here, moving back over Objective 6 toward the, uh, the bodyguard kind of central of the battle here. Uh, orc psychic phase. Orc psychic phase. I explode. He's there's green paint stuck over there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> orc shooting phase. Moving on to orc shooting. We're gonna start with the grots. Here we got ten, so that's gonna be ten shots going into the bodyguards hitting on fours. <gasps> All right, grots do get daka daka. Nope. Four hits. Uh, four is up, right? Five. Five. Yeah. Sorry, three. Four one. One. No minuses into the bodyguard. All right. Three up safe. Oh! Hey. Hey. Even lucky pump. Make it on his back here. Uh, two of these cannot see the bodyguards, although they would love to hit these boys right here. They're technically closer. Uh, as these are characters. So these three are gonna fire their shooters into the bodyguards. Fives up. Decent amount of daka. Oh, not too horrible. Two daka dakas. Nothing more off of that. Strength four, toughness five. Five for wound. We have four wounds, no minuses. Not bad. Three's to save. Ooh. Did you go through. You did kill one bodyguard. Next, we'll hit the Daka Jet, who is going to try to eliminate this unit, this unit of... Uh, oh, he has two squads. Yeah. So this, this squad here of Fire Warriors. It's going to be 18 shots, hitting on fours. See what Fire Warriors can do without the comfort of a crater. Mm. <laughs> Historically not good. Oof. This was a brutal, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Dakas, so twos. Uh, two, 12, 13 wounds, minus one AP, one damage apiece. And five for save. Which squad was it again? Got it. So, well, they're dead anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> now on to the Morkonaut, who is going to put everything except for the custom Mega Zappa. Custom Mega Zappa, he, uh, he's gonna put onto the ghost kill. Everything else, he's gonna try to take out this last bodyguard here. Okay. So we'll start with the Custom Mega Zappa. That is a minus two to hit that ghost kill. All right, so that'll be hitting on sixes. So heavy D3, four, six. Um, there's one more. Yep. Okay. All right, six. So six shots. Hitting on six onto the ghost keel. Nothing, absolutely nothing. This Morkonaut is horrid today. Uh, we'll do the Mega Blaster. Hitting on fives. Hey, Ooh. he didn't hey. kill himself. Ooh, so two. That's gonna be strength eight, so three's up. I'm to the bodyguard. Two wounds at minus three. Six up saves. And both go through. I'm gonna say he's dead. He's yes. Yeah, he's uh, not too happy. All right, that'll be it for shooting phase. Charge phase, Morkonaut coming in on a multi-charge onto the commander and Farsight. All right. Starting with the commander. Is the ghost killing range for, a great, for the greater good? He is, we measured between him and Farsight. Cool. So starting with the commander, overcharging his psychic ion. Here's the first volley. Rerolling that one. No hits. Can volley. No hits. Far sight. Isn't it rapid fire two? It's rapid fire one. Okay. One hit. Wounding on five. Nothing. And the ghost heal. Just want to double check the range of that flamer. Definitely in. So we'll start with the flamer. 2d6 auto hits. For ten. Wounding on sixes. One wound, no AP. Three up save. He's good. All right. 
And now overcharging his main gun. He's in range to reroll ones, but not to wound, just to hit. One hit. Wounding on a four. Nothing. He is in. Definitely in. The uh, Meganovs are going to try to uh, box them in on the back end here. You're going to need an eight inch charge. They're hey. in. Not looking good for those commanders. Hmm. Do you think Grotz want to get some, some action? Um, <laughs> I, I think they would, but I'd be more afraid that the Meganovs would probably smash him up if they got in there. So they're going to try to hold on to objective three um, against do anything it, else that remains. Do the, the only good thing that this army has done this entire cave. Told you, they're, they're the linchpin of my whole plan here. All right, <laughs> right on to the fight phase. Who are you starting with? Uh, we're going to start with the Morkonaut, and he's going to try to absolutely decimate Farsight. Oh no. I have yet to have Farsight survive through a battle, so... 12. Alright, the Morkonaut is going to do 12 smash attacks. Uh, it's going to be strength 8, hitting on 3. 6 is explode. Oof. Looking good. Yeah, I don't know if Farsight's going to make it out of this one. Alright, strength 8, toughness 5. It's going to be two, four, six, eight, ten saves at minus two AP. Two damage a piece. Ten shield saves, four up. Where do you want about one? It's two per, right? Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Sway the warlord. Mega knobs piled in. It's going to be twelve attacks. At strength 10, uh, they're using power claws, so minus one to hit. So hitting on fours. That's a lot of threes. That is a lot of threes. All right, that one six for the goth. Got it. Hey. Right. What are you going to? Strength 10, up to five. Bring twos. That is. Seven saves at minus three AP. Four up and ball. Thank you. <laughs> three go through. I'm pretty sure he's dead. D3 apiece. Four he's three. Yep. And another commander down. Somehow the suicide commander is still alive. Very short round for the orcs there. Yeah. You got another victory point for Slay the Warlord. One, two, three, and popping this one for six victory points. Bringing me to ten. Ten yeah. victory points. Six victory six points. Six victory points. All right, and we'll come back at the end of Tau turn three movement. Summary Tau movement. These units right here held in place as well as the ghost kills. I uh, advanced the stealth suits up over here. And these commanders moved up behind this Morkonaut, hoping maybe they can take it out. We'll see. Optimism is high. And again, the Grots are to be ignored. The Grots will be ignored. Because they are linchpins. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a th threat. The folly of the Tau. The folly. <laughs> All right, psychic phase. And we're done. Tau shooting phase. Tau shooting. Going to shoot both uh, the stealth suit unit, everything into the docket jet. Only the first two are in range, so a fusion blaster and a burst cannon. Starting with the burst cannon, hitting on fives. One hit, wounding on a five. Nothing. Fusion blaster, hitting on a five. Oh, so close. All right, moving on to this ghost keel right here. Yes, moving on to that ghost cue right there. He is going to shoot his flint. He's just going to shoot everything into the docket jet. Start with a cyclic ion raker overcharging. Hitting on fours because he does get a plus one to hit flyers. 
Velocity Three jump. rolling ones because far sight. Is he getting the minus one as well? Yeah, because that is with the minus one. Awesome. So two hits so far for a total of three hits. Wounding on threes, re-rolling ones because far side tenant. Three wounds at minus one. Uh, so you get your cover because of your fly boys, so four up. Dropped one. One goes through. D3 damage for two two. Bring him to six. And now 2d6 auto hits from those flamers for 10. Oof. Let's see what it does. Wounding on five. Cock die and re rolling this one. Wow. So that is uh, six wounds. No AP. Get your cover. So three ups. That will be three going through onto the dock. Bringing him to four. The flamer did more. Three. Huh? Three. There six. were six wounds left. Six minus three. Three. Oh, I can't math today. That'll bring him down to three wounds remaining on that dock jet. Flamer did a lot more damage. Yeah, I did the, yeah <laughs> absolutely. All right, now I'll do the second guest kill. Uh, I don't know if his flamers are in range. I think he might be. They are. Yeah, we'll He's gonna shoot everything into the dock of jet, hoping to finish it off. Fours re-rolling one. And that is three hits. Wounding on three. Three wounds at minus one. Three up. One goes through. One goes through. Is this it for the dock of jet? No, one wound remaining. Well, you still have flamers. I still have flamers. So we know how good your, yeah. ghost, your ghost kills flamers like to do. Oh, well, we just jinxed that. Two Hopefully. D6, 2d6 auto hits from the flamers. Oh, For five. Ah. Might have whiffed it. It, it, it can still go it. down right here. Not as potent. Five to wound. For one wound. Uh -oh. Ooh. oh, no. Three, Three up. up. Three up. Oh! oh. He's still in the fight. He's We're good. good. Let's see if we can do it. Cadre Fireblade is gonna shoot his pulse rifle into the DACA jet. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes, re-rolling one. Three shots with volley fire. All hit. Wounding on fives, re-rolling ones. Oh! Three wounds. No minus, you get your cover for being flyboy. That is, oh. that is it for the dock Padre jet. Fireblade. Does he crash and burn? You see Shot here. On a jet. No, he is just gone. That dock jet, all the flyers have been taken out. How upsetting. I mean, he did his job right, killed eight fireworks. Yeah, he cleared up some infantry, that's for sure. <laughs> Took a lot of hits, too. Next, we are going to do this commander shooting all three fusions into the Morkanut. Hitting, Mork on, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. All hit. Wounding on fours, re-rolling one. For three wounds at AP minus four. Five up. Five up in vuln. Two goes through. Two go through. First one, 2d6, pick the highest. Five. For five. He's got seven left. Can't kill him. No. Well, we still got melee coming up too. It's true. Five plus six. six. He's got one, one wound, wound left. left. Rough. Commander's putting in some work. This cadre fireblade is gonna shoot his marker light into the Morkonaut. <laughs> yeah. two. Oh! Oh, oh no. no. Well, so he gets for being a, trying to be cocky over here. This fire warrior is gonna shoot his marker light as well as the two pulse rifles into the Morkonaut. What's the, how far are they? 30 inch range? How, how supposed to do Oh, I guess, well, the marker light's Yeah, marker light. Marker light's fine. Oh. Well, this fire warrior is going to shoot his marker light into the Morkonaut, hitting on a four. Got it. There we go. Next, this unit of fire warriors here are going to shoot their five pulse rifles into this Morkonaut. They're not within rapid fire. 
Hitting in fours, re rolling one. Re roll that one. Wounding on fives. For one wound. No minus. No minus. Three up. Oof. I saw two. It was close. That was so close. Oh, God. That it was, it was scary. Well, I guess that leaves it to my last commander shooting everything into this Morkonaut. Three fusion blasters hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. All hit. Wounding on fours. Re-rolling one. Oh, one five wound up. at minus four. Five up and vulnerable. This could be hit from the Morkonaut. This could be is it. Is it hero? Oh! Oh, it is. Still <laughs> in it. Enough to stand up for at least an overwatch. Okay. All right, and that's the end of Tau shooting. That is the end. Of we'll just go straight to charges. Did I shoot him yet? No, you have not. All right. I still have one commander left with four shots. Into the Morkonaut. Hitting on twos, re-rolling one. Not happening, buddy. He's going he's gonna to make it. All hit. Wounding on fives. One wound, AP minus two. Well, five up. up. Gosh, can he do it again? Oh! oh. Does he I have Does he explode? three wounds for two. I have one more command point. I'd like to use that last command point to see if we can keep this working on in for Overwatch. No. no. Does, Does he explode? explode? No. no. He just crumples down. No, no exploding work machines today. The Grots come out of this just to see their, their icon and idol crumble before them. I don't think they're feeling too good. No. The twins are feeling pretty hot right now, though. All right, and now Tau charges. Tau charges. Might as well. My ghost keel is gonna charge the Mega Knobs. You need seven for that charge. But Overwatch, your stealth technology doesn't help you here. We weren't planning on hitting anyway. You were, it was just under seven. Oh, it is under seven. You need seven. Seven. All right, looking for that sixes for some data to take out that ghost keel. Decent amount of sixes? That's healthy. Healthy, Very healthy amount of sixes. <laughs> Six sixes. Daka Get daka. some daka daka here. No, they're just I getting that original sixes. All right. That's strength. Strength four, toughness. Six. Looking for fives up. Nothing. Nothing gets through that armor. Rough. All right. You need to roll a seven for this. You need a seven to charge. Oh, just enough. Got it. All right, you know what I'm charging next, right? Absolutely. All right, Fusion Blade Commander. Needing? Needing a seven. seven. As well. Lucky sevens. Oh, oh, he, oh yeah, he is he, in. He's very in. He's very eager. All right, and then just because I can, I'm going to get that other commander in there as well. He should not need a seven, I would imagine. Needing a five. He makes it. Boom. How's charging Meganons, would you have thought? <laughs> what is going on? All right. All right. All right. Fight phase, starting with the Tau. Starting with the Tau. We'll start with this commander, four attacks, hitting on threes. The non-fusion blade one? The non-fusion blade one. No rerolls, because Farsight is, well, dead. But toughness, four. Uh, tough four. All right. Winning on three. One wound, no AP on those Mega Knobs. Two up safe. They're good. They're good. Now the Fusion Blade Commander, two of his attacks being from Fusion Blades. Hitting on threes. Alright. Two Fusion Blades hit. Now twos to wound those Mega Knobs. Two wounds at AP minus four. That's gonna be a six. Six up for them. Oof, did not make it. D6 damage apiece. The first one will take. Four. And then the second Mega Knob. Four more. Two Mega Knobs. Bite the dust. Alright. 
And now the final two attacks from that commander, hitting on threes. Both hit, wounding on three. One more wound at no AP. All right, two up save. Oof. Only one damage. I'll give him. Look at the fake bright sword doing some doing some work over here. All right, and then last but not least, my ghost kill with three attacks into those mega knobs, hitting on fives. One hit, wounding on three. Nothing. And you get your attacks back. This is gonna hurt. Yes, it will. So we're gonna put two of the mega knobs onto the fusion blade commander, and the last one on the other commander. We'll leave the ghost kill alone. We'll deal with him a little later. <laughs> So that will be eight attacks onto the fusion blade, hitting on threes. One Daka there, or Goth Daka, however you want to put that. So that will be seven. Fours or threes? Threes. Okay. Um, and that will be a strength ten. So wounding on twos. Wounding on twos. Oof. That will be six at minus three. Four up and vol. For two to go through, can you finish him? Nope. No. Oh, that is only two wounds. He's down to two. <laughs> for the other commander, and for threes, we get one. With a wound, minus three, D3. Four up in vol. Man. <laughs> yeah, so uh, considering these uh, Mega Knobs uh, in the Grasu and what's holding it down, uh, I think they're probably going to flee to fight it uh, another day. Uh, I think this is going to go to Farsight and, uh, and the, the Tau on this one. So Orcs concede. Great job. Let's talk about it. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definite win for uh, uh, Farsight and the Tau on that one. We got obliterated. So I think uh, you played Saga of the Beast and I'm running your beautifully painted Gazgrim. Yes. So uh, it's probably your, your downfall. So yeah, I, I think uh, Gazgrim would have been a absolute must for a goth army. Um, I brought the flyers, which I specifically painted for this battle report. I was excited to try and haven't done uh, anything with flyers before. Um, but running them with that new flyboy, I thought would do a little bit more than it did. But I think bad moods, especially with the uh, the Daka jets. Well, and like plus the flyboys, half of that whole trade is like minus one if they charge you, and you got charged. And Farsight still one shot at it. Yes, they absolutely did. <laughs> um, and uh, using it was the stealth suits that had that uh, uh, addition to. Hitting uh, flyers. Yeah, all stealth units had a plus one to hit flyers. Just cancel out that uh, that uh, subculture. So if you're planning on using it, do not use it against a Tau player that knows what he's doing. He will obliterate you. Yeah, and well, velocity tracker, especially right now, is because like flyers are pretty relevant to the meta. Um, like for space marines, like repulsors are flyers, and yeah, half of Tau fly. Doesn't even have to be nice. airborne. It's just if they have the fly keyword. Yeah. So velocity tracker, and it's only two two points. Yeah. For a velocity tracker, it's it's ridiculous. Um, so against an army that is specifically like flying heavy base against Tau, any Tau, it's it's it's, it's rough. Mm. I would recommend bringing uh, Daka jets, especially if you're going against a uh, infantry heavy army. Uh, Tau can be that. Uh, this list absolutely was infantry heavy, and it did some work on a lot of those pathfinders and uh, objective holding units but they just weren't able to stay in the fight long enough to really be substantial, or I kind of that distraction kind of effects. Huh? I didn't have any Pathfinders. Oh, it's fi Pathfinders, Fire Warriors, Firefinders. Fire you, you, they're, they're, <laughs> I get them confused every time. They look for a fire, we all know. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We all know it's going down. Um, all right, so, no gas goal and running three, three flyers. It could have been worse. You did quite a number, just not on Things I think your target party was a little, a little misguided. Yes, I, I should have focused almost entirely on their their infantry. I brought the Waz bomb, and I mean it's really hit and miss with yeah, we, anything. We were discussing like half in the middle of the rounds, and he he had a lot of regrets shooting the Jaka jets. We had the plus one to hit, 
against the ghost kills, so bringing it down to six up anyways. Yeah, so that was not the smart move uh, for those guys. Especially ghost kills, you have to sequence them. Like, you're minus two to hit the ghost kill, which is bringing your hit ratio down substantially, but if you focus on those stealth drones right away, you're gonna get that plus one back to hit. Yeah, so like, this one thing, like just fighting Tao against Tao in general, because um, if, you, if you waste shooting, firing at a ghost kill, and then you're gonna choose is gonna fire at the, the stealth, stealth drones, because you realize that those are a problem. Yep. Then you kind of wasted a bunch of shots. And so, like, I don't know, going into Tau, first turn, just f clear the board of all drones, and then you can start working on a plan. Yeah. And he didn't bring that many drones. No, no, not really. I was, I think the, the smarter move, I really wanted to show what, like, uh, Saga the Beast can do with the Psychic Awakening and, uh, you know, spending CP to, to bump your guys up, make, giving him, like, the biggest boss. I think, think you need CP. think you need CP. Yeah, so <laughs> the lack of CP was absolutely brutal. Uh, you know, pretty much everyone's always, if you're an Orc player, you're always banking on that three in the reserve to, um, you know, bring that big mob of 30 boys back. Yeah. But anybody that knows how to fight Orcs well, is going to will completely destroy it. He does spend everything, like he did in turn one, mm -hmm. spent over half of his army clearing that one spot of 30 boys. Because mm -hmm. um, that it would just obliterate his back line. Yeah, so if you're going against an Orc player, if you're going to dedicate time and uh, specifically your uh, your units in the shooting phase to eliminate boys, take them all out. Otherwise, it's going to be all for naught, which Aaron's been fighting um, uh, uh, works for the past six months against me, and he knows well enough to take out that big mob. Yeah. yeah. All right, Aaron, how do you feel about the new Farsight rules? I like the new Farsight rules. I definitely say fighting them a priority. Take out those crisis suits with that veteran cadre. I. It's clear why Games Workshop will not automatically boost a crisis unit's ballistic scale up to three plus because <laughs> I, you guys saw what it did with burst cannons, which are an assault four, weapon strength five, AP zero, one damage a piece. But what what is big with these crisis suits is bringing cyclic ion blasters, where they they can be strength seven, AP minus one, one damage, or if you overcharge, now it's up to strength eight with a D three and it's three shots per, and you can load a crisis suit up to three with them, and then if they have a flat ballistic skill of three, re-rolling ones within 12 inches, and then re-rolling wounds of ones, it's gonna... Those it's like things, they're very under, underpriced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, gonna, <laughs> cool. they're gonna kill whatever they're, they're gonna kill whatever they're shooting at. Um, I know everyone's identified them, these fusion commanders, but normally I, I haven't had very much luck with them, but this game, they just kind of kill whatever they decide to shoot at. Poor, I, poor weird boy. Yeah, you're, you're shaman. He's just over there eating mushrooms, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Farsight. I love Farsight. He is my favorite character in the lore, but just on the tabletop, I, f I, s I always find him a little lackluster. He's just, he's a lot of fun to play with, though. I think you have a, a like your bodyguard group up, and then your opponent charges your bodyguard, you have a line, so your Farsight doesn't get charged, and then he can make that easy. Yeah, um, that heroic intervention. Yeah, but... For him to specifically charging, he doesn't. He does stuff, but he doesn't have nearly enough movement. Like if he had, if he was in a cold star, that'd be yeah. a completely different story. But you need to kind of space and prepare him for a charge, like two turns ahead, and then be able to uh, heroic damage. That's every time I've ever used first sight. He's, he's muscle of mine. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, six and heroic intervention is, is ideal for his play style. Because you want him in the back, but when he comes, but when things get going, then he can he can take it forward. But if I think he played him a little too cautiously. Yeah, he did. Farsight did yeet a jet he off the he board. He did though. one shot. Yes, he did. He <laughs> <got> a, <laughs> jet. a dock a jet right in the middle. <laughs> if I remember wrong, with those cold stars, that six inches, they can still do the greater good and then heroically intervene, correct? Yes. Because so, uh, heroic intervention is at the end of your opponent's charge phase. So, so, absolutely, you'd be able to get the shots off and then be able to get in there to do, um, you know, as orcs would say, crumping um, and, and do that damage. But I think. A lot of people did not expect how to be melee heavy, and it really showed by models getting taken off the field that they can they can bang in close combat. It yeah, for the, for the greater good, like it's it's uh, um, highlighted as a uh, shadow sun book. But it's really a far side book. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a little mini far side enclaves codex, I would say. Far side enclaves has the has the only Tau deny the witch stuff now, which is. Makes my heart swell. 
There, there is one stratagem I want to highlight though that I don't hear many people talking about. The Furious Assault doing a mortal wound for every jetpack unit on a 3 up. Yeah, because most, most things are on a 6 up. Like uh, the Meteoric Assault from Space Marines are from the Inceptors. That's a 6 up. A bunch of orc stuff that's on a 4 or 5. But on a 3 up, it's nuts. It's insane. Yeah, that's especially true. rolling as hot as I did against that jet charging in. That was, <laughs> that was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can surround them with those bodyguards like we see, even with the flyer, and get the most out of it. I think um, it's really funny that Farsight, like, straight up cut the wings off a, of a jet and his bodyguard started tackling the other <laughs> jet. <laughs> so the, the orcs, the only thing they really have that, that can deal with kind of mortal wounds on a, on a charge would be, you know, Squigos or something of the like, or, uh, you know, your uh, Battle White, your Bone Breakers. Um, but it, with they don't have nearly the footprint that the bodyguards can put out. Yeah. Right. Everyone raves about the uh, Overwatch you get with Tau Set, but I really don't think you can trade the flexibility you get with Farsight Enclaves and really just the interactiveness instead of sitting back in a gun line. You can get more involved in the game and, I mean, get in close combat with orcs with a bunch of blueberries. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. That'll wrap it up. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us on High Desert Heretics. We're a gaming channel. We could have been anywhere on the internet. You decided to, to sit here and watch us, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, guys.